Howdy guys, P2E Professor here, doing a quick intro video for Black Eye Galaxy. It's a space mining game. Um, right now it's more of a gamified NFT staking than it is really a playable game, but they're developing a 3D game and land ownership and that kind of stuff within the planet itself. Uh, for now, this is the main homepage. You can buy BYG here. Read their white paper, open up the game itself, check out the tokenomics roadmap. I've got the game open here. Um, these are my assets. I've got uh, 15 MK MK1 Asteroid Hunters and one salvage ship. Uh, they'll be releasing the MK2 Asteroid Hunters in a week or two, and uh, I assume that they'll have somewhat similar mechanics. So for now, I'm just going to show you how to. Um, you know how to do what you got to do so your asteroid hunters can be doing one of three things nothing they can be flying so that'll be going from one asteroid to the next or they can be mining so they'll be uh generating they'll be staked for byg however many uh rewards are in that asteroid reward pool uh for that individual asteroid so how that works is let's see so this is the one that was flying his flight's done so you click end flight and so this is you're unstaking it from its flight so you got to pay that little gas fee and then once the flight's over we're gonna buy a mining permit and uh have it start mining so we're re we're staking it on this asteroid and you have to pay 20 byg to do so um, and each asteroid has anywhere from like 115 to like 400 byg those are the legendary ones typically it's like 115 to 220 for commons through uh epics anyways uh so like i said you click your buy mining permit do another gas fee while that's happening i'll go over to the other tab this one is done mining. As you can see here, the claimable amount is 204 out of 204. He's been mining for four days, getting me 51 BYG per day. But as you just heard, there's a 20 BYG cost to start mining, and then there's a 2 BYG per day cost for flight, as it says here. <coughs> and they also have a uh, mechanic. Uh, once you hit 70% of damage, that you have to repair your um, asteroid hunter and that's done at one byg per percent and it takes one hour per percent um, to repair that so anyways i'm going to claim the uh, byg the 204 from this rare asteroid here and then once that's done i'll be able to select a new asteroid for this one to fly to and he will go back to uh let's see and then he will go in the in flight column and the rest that are mining like the one that i just set should be yep, right here and you can see uh their status how much byg they've mined so far out of the total amount the asteroid has because of the gas fees and right now uh, BYG got hit pretty hard um, lately, especially um, I think it was yesterday or the day before when Bitcoin dropped down to like 35 ish. Uh, BYG went from like six or seven cents down to four. So with gas like that, you got to uh, you got to only claim when they're done mining. So you reduce your gas fees as much as possible. Anyway, that's the MK1 asteroid hunters. Um, yeah, this was a quick look through my profits, but I wanted to keep the video short. Um, yeah, how so how much BYG have I been able to sell this year? It's been about three weeks. Uh, I've mined and sold. I guess I maybe brought in a little bit with me, but I sold about 6K BYG for about 450 bucks in three weeks. Um, you got to subtract your gas fees from that. Right now, I'm just using BYG to pay for itself. When I take out these little 200s, that's to pay for the gas to move this stuff around. So 
Rule number one with P2E, use your profits to pay for any costs. Don't put more money in. I made that mistake with Axie. Anyways, stick around for more tips. Check out p2eprofessor.com for more and uh, subscribe if you want to stay up to date. Thanks.